the integrated standby instrument system, called ISIS, replaces the three conventional standby instruments. The standby altimeter, the standby horizon indicator, and the standby airspeed indicator. The ISIS is mounted in the center of the instrument panel. As soon as the ISIS is energized, the display shows these four yellow digital boxes for approximately 90 seconds. The ISIS system displays the following information. Attitude Airspeed Mark Altitude Barometric reference pressure LS function and Bugs Let's describe each information in detail. The airspeed scale moves in front of a yellow triangle, indicating the airspeed. The Mach number is displayed in green when greater than 0 0.5. A black symbol, outlined in yellow, represents the aircraft. A fixed roll scale comprises white marks for 10, 20, 30, 45, 60 degrees of bank. The roll index is in black surrounded in white. It indicates the bank angle. The roll reference, horizontal wings, is indicated by the yellow triangle. The trapezoidal index moves beneath the roll reference. It represents the aircraft's lateral acceleration. The pitch scale is in white. Beyond 30 degrees, large red arrowheads, V-shaped, indicate that the attitude has become excessive and show the direction to follow in order to reduce it. The Attitude Reset push button is used to reset the attitude indication by pressing it for at least two seconds. During this period, ATT 10 seconds is displayed on the screen. Note, the flight must be stabilized, without pitch and roll angles and with stabilized speed. When an excessive aircraft movement is detected during the alignment phase, an attitude reset message appears. In this case, press the ATT push button to realign and recover the attitude indication. The altitude indication is given as a white moving scale and a green digital readout on a black background. NEG appears in the window in white for negative altitudes. A barometric reference pressure is displayed in blue in hectopascals, HPA. 
It corresponds to either the selected barometric pressure or standard pressure. A barometric selection knob enables, by rotating it, to select a barometric pressure. The standard barometric pressure can be selected by pressing the barometric knob. Standard is then displayed in place of the pressure value. Pressing the knob again will display the selected barometric pressure. The deviation scales, glide slope and localizer, appear when the LS push button is pressed. The indexes appear when the glide slope and localizer signals are valid with deviation scales displayed. The bugs push button switch is used to display or inhibit the bugs function. The bugs page has two columns positioned vertically. The speed bug column, where four speed values in knots can be selected by the crew, and the altitude bug column, where two altitude values multiplied by a hundred can be selected by the crew. The bugs value selection knob allows the bug to be set in the active box by rotating the baro knob. Movement from one box to another is made by the plus or minus push buttons. The active box flashes. Pressing the baro setting knob once the bug value box is activated will deselect the bug value. The off label comes on close to the activated box. The entered values are memorized by the system when exiting the screen by pressing the bug's push button switch or after 15 seconds without any pilot action. When a bug value is entered and active, the corresponding speed mark is indicated by a cyan dash as shown here by the speed and altitude bug figures on the bugs page. Note, on the altitude scale, the cyan dash is transformed into a cyan box when the dash covers the digital indication. Caution, the Airbus SOP do not recommend to set bugs during a flight. When an information is lost, a red flag appears, as shown here for the glide slope and the localizer. But all the information contained in the ISIS could be transformed and indicated by flags. ATT for the attitude, SPD for the airspeed, M for Mach, ALT for the altitude. To summarize, ISIS is a PFD without FMA and heading. Moreover, there is a standby compass located on top of the windshield center post. A deviation card is located above the compass.